back to my channel. In this episode, we'll explore Vinita Singh's journey as a CEO and co-founder of Super Cosmetics Company. You probably saw her on Shark Tank India, and since I binge watched that show, I decided to share her story on our channel as well. So quickly, let's get started with the video now. Vinita Singh. She was born in the year 1983 in Anand Nagar, Gujarat. Since childhood, she has been very much inspired by her parents to focus on her studies. She often stayed at her maternal grandmother's place in Bhav Nagar, Gujarat, but. His parents got an opportunity to work in Delhi, so they shifted to Delhi only after four years of Vinita's birth. Vinita Singh's father name is Tej Singh, and he works as a scientist in All India Institute of Medical Science, AIMS, Delhi. He is researching a protein or drug that can cure many deadly diseases, including cancer. Vinita Singh's mother is a PhD holder and works at the Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR, Delhi. Her parents are highly educated and PhD holders too, and this gave Vinita Singh's a sa. and inspired by her pains vinita singh was also focused on her studies now let's get deeper into the journey of vinita singh her journey starts with her schooling at delhi public school when she was just 10 years old she made a magazine with her friend and tried to sell it by going door to door at 3 rupees a piece even at such a low price people were hesitant and asked why they should buy the magazine the experience made her realize how valuable money is and how difficult it is to sell anything to people After schooling she prepared for engineering and cracked IIT entrance exam she studied engineering at IIT Madras and then prepared for CAT an entrance exam for MBA she cracked that too and then moved to IIM Ahmedabad to study MBA while she was in college she won various badminton championships too this shows how good she was in her academics as well as extracurricular activities since she was very good at her things she had been offered one crore package but she wanted to do something else During one of her interviews she said she had always been afraid of trying something new. She used to do only things for which she was sure she would succeed. But then she decided to break this rule and then turn down that one crore offer. For turning down one crore offer she was featured on the cover of week as she became India's first and youngest B school graduate to decline a placement offer of Aina 1 crore per annum from a global investment bank to start her own startup that is HR services company After declining the offer she moved to Bombay at the age of 23 she lived in a small house she ran a bootstrap a services company where she used to provide background verification services to clients and in return she used to make money from them During that time her earning in Mumbai were only 10000 per month which was far from her one crore package but she kept on working to reach her final destination then in the year 2007 she was appointed as a director in Quetzal Online Private Limited where she worked for about 5 years after that in 2012 she started a beauty product supplying company Fabbag in Mumbai in about 3 to 4 years the annual turnover of her company increased 3 crores to 4 crores but Vinita felt that this company could not become a world class company which she desired of so after about 5 years she closed that company when she was working for this company she did a lot of research and realized there was a need for quality cosmetics for indian women she came to know that in the coming time young women can become her customer in india she realized india has growing market demand for cosmetics people struggle to find right shade and product and often switch to big fun brands this is where vinita singh made her mind to create something made in india bringing shades and textures for indian people vinita along with her husband koshi mukaji focused on creating makeup products solely for indian skin tones and targeting the indian market and this is how sugar cosmetics born the company started with creating a buzz around social media and targeting the audience of age group between 20 to 35 years after passing all the obstacles now the company is reaching new heights and has created the name in cosmetics industry even though she has invested her own money and got funding but at starts getting investors was a challenge because entrepreneur is still a masculine word but now it has reached funds in millions and sells more than 6 lakh 50000 products per month the app of sugar cosmetics has more than 1 million downloads and a big following on social media pages apart from online the company also has offline retail stores across 130 plus cities in india sugar cosmetics is currently india's leading cosmetics brand the brand is manufactured in state of art facilities across germany italy india the usa and korea the brand ships its best selling products across lips eyes face and nail categories across the world her enormous amount of work paid off to sugar as best lipstick brand today 
getting more into Vinita's life. Vinita thinks husband name is Kaushik Mukherjee and they have two sons as well. Name of elder son is Vikran Mukherjee and the name of younger son is Ranveer Mukherjee. Vinita Singh's husband Kaushik Mukherjee is a co-founder of Sugar Cosmetics as a company as well. Now talking about the total net of Vinita Singh, then her total net worth is around 60 crore. She is the founder of Sugar Cosmetics whose annual turnover is about 700 crores. Now there are 1500 plus employees working with sugar with 70% of them being women. Beside her tools of entrepreneurship, she also holds an inspirational story as a runner. She started running parallel to her startup struggles, but now she is a marathoner, triathlete, and as of December 21, she had participated in more than 14 marathons, including Comrades Run of 89 kilometers for three consecutive years in, in uh, South Africa. Vinita, along with her husband, completed the marathon triathlete as well. In addition, she ran a half marathon while six months pregnant and completed it successfully. Overall, she has crushed a lot of stereotypes of India. She has also provided me with so many lessons in her story and in her talks, some of which I would like to share with you all. First, put off your fear lens and don't be afraid to do anything. Second, you should at least attempt to initiate and never take a step back from the start. Hence, always show up the start line. Third, convert your fear into excitement when you are afraid because excitement will promote your willingness to achieve your goal whereas fear will drag you away from your goal. Lastly, let society judge you on what you are trying to do. Don't be afraid of what society says. So these were the statements that I learned from her stories and talks. I hope you also found your inspirational statement in her story. If so, please share it with us in the comment section below. Now talking about awards and achievements of Vinita Singh, she received a Startup of the Year 2019 by Entrepreneur Awards Delhi in the year 2019. She was also included in the 40 under 40 list of Economic Times in 2021. Apart from this, in December 2021, she was also featured in the cover page of Forbes Most Powerful Women. So this was the overall story of Vinita Singh. As a final note, I would like to thank Vinita Singh for giving such an inspirational story and providing India with phenomenal women entrepreneurs. Hopefully, a lot more people will follow her and gain insight on how sometimes our dreams are more valuable than anything we can acquire. So, I hope you all like this story. I hope you got to learn so many things from this story. And if so, then let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this story, then like and subscribe to our channel. Keep watching our videos. Thanks for watching. We'll meet in the next video.